Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and I've got some great game development news. Play Canvas is now open source. Now, that might lead you to two obvious questions. First off, what's a Play Canvas? And second, wasn't it already open source? And the answer to that is no to the second one. And to the first one, well, this is Play Canvas. Play Canvas is a web-based game engine editor. So it's it's an engine and an editor. So we got here, it's broken into two parts. You've got the engine side of things. This has always been open source. This is an advanced WebGL game engine. Uh, you use JavaScript or TypeScript to create your games. If you don't want to use their editor, you can use this as the basis for your own game engine if you wish to do so. Again, it has always been open source. Uh, it is small, optimized, uh, and again, ton of features here you got full uh, support for GLTF lighting and various different options there physically based rendering uh, you got Gaussian and splat support object editing a lot of uh, object format file formats are supported uh, it is a very robust game engine if I was going to do uh, a web first game 3d right now it would be down to either play canvas or or Babylon JS to use. Now, the other aspect of Play Canvas all along, and the source of today's news, is this one right here. They also have an editor. You can think of this basically like Unity hosted in the web, but with JavaScript, TypeScript as your primary programming languages. But it's got all of the features and functionality you would expect from a, um, a modern game engine, including code editors, etc. Let me just go ahead. I will log into it as well. Up until this point in time, this has not been available. Uh, for free. So this has been part of their subscription or license system. So this editor, what you're loading up right now, this that you see in front of you at this exact moment in time, this was closed source. So the game engine underneath wasn't, this is. And we can do things like, again, a full uh, scene graph going on over there. Uh, so we got over here, scene, Inside of the scene, we've got, say, for example, lights. And this light, for some reason, I've made it red, so we could make it white. We could change the intensity of it. And you're going to see the results in real time. On top of that, the entire thing is component-based. Uh, so we could add a new entity into our world, say, uh, a box, like so. So here is our box in the world, like that. And then on top of that, we can start adding components to it, such as, for example, a script. Uh, or I could go ahead and add physics to it, make this one a rigid body. And then we take the type, so I'm gonna make that dynamic, and so on. And then you can go ahead and launch your game, run it from here. Sorry about the white flash, I had no idea that was going to happen. And I have no idea how close our camera is to that box. We're not gonna see it, it already fell. So there is our falling box. But you can see here, you can uh, completely develop your game using the editor, uh, so that is very cool. And head on over there, uh, you've got full editing environment and everything else. Well, this is the editor here that has now been made open source. So the Play Camps editor front end is now open source. So they're thrilled to announce the open sourcing of the editor front end. The Play Canvas editor is a powerful visual editing environment for building web GPL, web GPU, and web XR applications. It has been the cornerstone of countless incredible projects, many of which you can explore on the Play Canvas website. While the Play Canvas engine has always been open source, the front uh, front the editor front end blah, 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 uh, and a key component of the Play Canvas ecosystem has not. That changes today. So why are they open sourcing it? Uh, open sourcing the editor front end brings a lot, a host of benefits, not just for us, but for the entire Play Canvas community. Faster feature development, community contributions will accelerate the development of new features and improvements, enhance stability. With more eyes on the code, bugs can be identified and resolved more quickly, leading to a more stable and robust editor. Customization and bespoke use cases, developers can now create custom editor front end versions, connecting them to our back end for a highly specialized uh, workflows and integrations and improved understanding. A more transparent code base will allow developers to better understand how the editor functions, making it easier to contribute and debug. So this is going to now be run locally. So if you still want to run online in their hosted space using uh, their storage, etc., there's still a subscription to do that. But if you want to run this entirely for free now, you can run it and clone it and build it locally, which is a very cool change that they have done there. So it's easier than ever to get started with local development and contribute to the editor front end. Detailed setups are available in the readme for the repository. Uh, so it is built on their open source technology. So they have other things. They have a UI layer called the PC UI. Of course, the Play Canvas engine itself is open source. And then we've got uh, Graph, uh, the editor API, etc. All these libraries are kind of built together to make Play Canvas a thing. And this was the part that was missing to make this a full blown open source project. It'd be kind of like Godot having everything but the editor open source kind of limits the usefulness of that. If you're building your own uh, Godot alternative, or in this case, if you're building your own Play Canvas alternative, you could build on top of the underlying engine, but you'd be stuck building your own 
editor. So that is what has changed today. So the editor has now been open source, and I mean like literally just now, thanks to the Games for Scratch Discord for pointing this one out to me. And you may be asking a couple of questions. Okay, how is this licensed? Well, the cool thing is it's MIT licensed. That is an open source license without a lot of like drawbacks. There's none of the like GPL v3 limitations there. You don't have to make your source code available. You don't have to submit your changes, etc. But of course, it is an open source project. So if you fix something, it would be nice to contribute it back. Speaking of contributing back, if you like what they have done here, drop them a star. People always do appreciate that. So yes, the editor is now completely open source. That This is the editing environment. The game engine behind it has always been open source. You can see details of getting it up and going, but it's super simple. Basically clone it, uh, do an NPM install, run the develop version, and then open it up in your local browser. That's it. That's all you need to do. Uh, details are all available here. So it makes it simple to get this up and running locally, which is great. And then on top of that, Play Canvas again has a number of other projects and repositories all open source. So now their entire suite, I believe, is open source, including uh, their Gaussian splatting solution, Super Splat. The game engine itself is now open source. Now the editor is open source as well. They also have a model viewer uh, and so on. And keep going, they, again, they have an excellent UI framework as well called PC UI that they open sourced a long time ago as well. Uh, so now Play Canvas is pretty much full open source as far as I can tell. So that is definitely a nice development here. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is Play Canvas. Uh, Play Canvas, this editor that you see in front of you right now, is now available open source along with the game engine behind it. So if you've ever been interested in doing 3D and your primary platform is the browser, uh, either WebGPU or, or WebGL, uh, and you like to work with JavaScript or TypeScript, you definitely want to go ahead and check this one out because it is very mature, very robust, and now very open source. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. I will talk to you later. Goodbye.